I miss Lil Bub so much. <laughs> it is September 21st, which means I am going to Disneyland in... 11 days, 11 days, October 2nd, I will be going to Disney's Oogie Boogie Bash. And so I can't go just wearing my normal human clothes. No, that will not do. I need to have some kind of costume. I need to be in the spirit of Halloween. I have to go all out. And I decided that I need to match my beloved Mummy Mickey popcorn bucket. I'm obsessed with him. He is so cute and he is the current popcorn bucket right now at Disneyland. Does it make sense that I'm gonna cart this thing across the country in my suitcase and he's gonna take up like a giant chunk of it? No, it doesn't make much sense, but I rarely do. So it's gonna be great. And I need to get my little mummy costume going on. We are going to be constructing a mummy costume as well as ears. And I'm thinking we're gonna be doing the ears based off of this little guy. I, of course, am, I'm not a seamstress. I know how to sew a little bit and I know how to use a good old hot glue gun. So what we're gonna do is, instead of making a dress from scratch, we're gonna be repurposing a t-shirt dress that I have had from last year. And we're gonna turn that into a little mummy dress. I don't wanna be hot and like, you know, it's, it's LA, it's Los Angeles. And so it's the desert, it's gonna be hot. There's concrete everywhere. It's so damn hot. So I know I'm gonna be sweating a little bit, but I'm gonna try to minimize that as much as possible by wearing a cool short sleeve dress. And I'm thinking of going to the fabric store, finding some, some cheesecloth or some other kind of fabric that I can, you know, cut pieces and I'm gonna drape that across the dress in some fun ways. Maybe I'll have some come down the sleeve a little bit. I don't know, we're, we're not sure exactly how this is gonna go until we start but that's, that's the image I have in my mind is just uh, some of my t-shirt dress kind of peeping out, but having it be wrapped in this white cloth. And then for the ears, I'm hoping I find at Walmart or somewhere some, some already existing ears that I can cover with some orange fabric and then make that face. I have a ton of felt in my cabinet behind me. So that should be relatively easy. And yeah, so let's get going on this journey of costume creation. I got the goodies. I found some orange cloth and I found some mini ears. So that's gonna be perfect. And we're just gonna cover over these. And then I got some stuff. I didn't get stuffing. Ugh, I have to go back in. Fuck. Hello. It is the next day, as most of you have probably guessed. Happy first day of fall, by the way. Mmm, that's good. It is cloudy out. There's a slight wind and it's been drizzling. So I am in heaven. I have an assortment of materials. We have our fluff for the ears. Oh, we have cloth for the mummy strips. I really like this cloth because it has like this little texture in it. And I think it's gonna look 
really nice cut up and it's also like nice and soft and it's not stiff. So it'll be extra comfy for me. We have the mini ears. We're gonna be removing this bow, obviously, and covering it with uh, orange fabric. We have some cheesecloth. I'm gonna also be kind of putting this on top of this cloth to give it some added texture. And then we have the orange fabric that I got at Walmart. We're gonna be covering the ears with this guy. And that's it. This is the dress I'm thinking of using. I made a very simple clown costume last year. I made these little puff balls and glued them onto this long shirt. And I'm gonna repurpose it because I hate buying things that I know aren't for everyday wear, that they're just for this one purpose. It just feels wasteful. And I hate spending money on stuff that I know I'm only using once. So when I remembered that this was in the basement, I was so happy because I didn't have to go and buy or thrift or whatever. So very happy about this. I'm gonna be removing obviously the puff balls and hopefully we can remove them as clean as possible. But it's not gonna really matter if there's some leftover yarn or glue because we're gonna be covering it with this fabric. So no problem there. I do not have a a body, a model, a, mo a body, mo no. Whatever this, whatever they're called, the, the whatever seamstresses use. So I'm not gonna be wearing the dress, obviously, while I'm gluing hot fabric to it, but I might, I might use a chair. I'm, I think I'm gonna use a chair. This is a makeshift craft. We're gonna be rolling with the punches here and just kind of figuring it out along the way. First off, let's get to removing these puff balls. You know, I'm all worried about measurements here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna really matter because this doesn't need to be, you know, if I mess up and like I cut weird or whatever, it's only gonna add to the look of the costume. Does not, we're not looking for precision. I just definitely need it to be the right length. That's all. So now we have a nice, 38 inches chunk. So now I'm gonna go and cut, I'm gonna start cutting strips of this. try to clump some of these together um, and then do like, you know, up here. Yeah, just kind of like layering the strips in a fun way. And then like maybe spreading them out, some out like that. And then of course I'm gonna have to cut wider strips as we go down, which, you know, now that I'm looking at this dress, I kind of want to, make it shorter. It's a little, it's a little long. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get that hot gun going. I'm going to go 
get a book to put this under because I forgot that I don't want the hot glue to seep through and like glue the front to the back. got my coffee. It's a uh, maple turmeric situation. Mm. Yeah, it's really, it's the spot. Probably shouldn't be drinking over um, this white fabric though. I'm gonna keep on gluing these strips and then we'll move on to the cheesecloth. So I've kind of accidentally brought this a little bit too far in. Ugh. So it's kind of like making, I don't know, it's like squeezing in the dress and now there's like this fabric over here that's kind of loose. Um, so we'll see. I hope that this is gonna be okay. I think I might do a try on just to be safe here. So this is where we are at. I kind of forgot about um, boobs, <laughs> like to, to kind of take into account where my boobs are gonna fall and like not to, which, you know, this is fine. I think maybe I'll add like a piece across, like I definitely planned on doing like a piece across, you know, like it's all gonna work out. I just did not think that this piece right here was gonna be across my boobs, but that's okay. But so far, you know, we just started. So, so far it's looking fine. And um, yeah, gonna keep on putting pieces on. Good evening. It is um, midnight and I wanted to get into the um, the cheesecloth before I went to bed. Also, look at this mug. Like, come on, it's a freaking cauldron. I've changed tactics on how I've been constructing this and it's been working out a lot better. I've actually started putting on the dress and it's just the more strips that I've been putting on, it's just been getting harder and harder to like construct it just a flat on a table. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get a mannequin, but, and the hot glue hasn't been burning me. I think this is thick enough. I was very concerned about doing that because I figured the hot glue would go through and I would burn myself, but so far it's been fine. I'm gonna continue doing that and uh, break out the cheesecloth. <sighs> That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. <laughs> Oh my God, the tea, the tea. I had no idea the cheesecloth shed a bunch of tiny little hairs. Ugh.
de Mara for sure. I kind of look like Lilu from the fifth element right now. I need to keep it loose at the bottom. Otherwise we're gonna have like, the cloth is gonna like really bunch up and it's gonna look weird because this is a flowy bottom dress. So need to keep it loose. So I'm thinking of kind of doing a cute little loose, chunky piece of fabric here. Kind of like how I did the front, but not really. You get it, you know what I mean, yeah. Cool. One eternity later. Moving on to the ears. I'm gonna be covering them with this like orange fabric to, I'm basically replicating these little pumpkins here that the pumpkins that Mickey is holding. And I, I just checked, I planned on doing the uh, face out of felt. And I have literally this scrap and then this, which isn't actually exactly the color. Don't throw out your scraps, people. That's the lesson in this. Just always keep your scraps because you just never know. So I assume that this is gonna be enough for two faces not really any room for mistakes so i have to be a little bit careful with that but if you've been wondering what this is i've been using this uh tupperware lid to catch all my my glue spittle because it just otherwise gets all over my tabletop and it drives me crazy all right so the bow i have like no use for this so Oh, I also have this color here for the stem because he has a brown stem. So what what team are you on? Are you team brown stem for pumpkins or green? I feel like I'm team green, but it just depends. It depends on the shade of pumpkin. Anyway, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out the two ears here, cut them, and then we're gonna be stitching the two pieces together. So basically the front and the back, stitch them together and then flip it inside out so that we don't have, you know, that stitching and whatever visible. And then I have my cotton over here, fiber fill. And I'm gonna stuff that in there and then we're gonna do the face. So we got two, two very long triangles on their sides pointing at each other. And then we have a vampire type mouth. Yes, with four pointy teeth, two on the top and two on the bottom. And then the stem, I think I'm just gonna make that out of, uh, out of felt as well and maybe stuff it to make it firm, I'm not ugh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm doing that, but let's start with the face. That's gonna be pretty straightforward.
thank you all so much for watching. Working with fabric is very foreign to me. So overall, I think, I think it turned out cute. I think it definitely fits the bucket. I think you can tell that I'm trying to match the bucket. I put on some, you know, extra strips on my arms there and I added like the little choker there. I thought that that looked cute. I'll definitely add more details for when I'm at the park, which I will film, of course, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go to the Oogie Boogie Bash and I hope that there weren't too many time-lapse clips. It just... I couldn't make you guys watch me cut and glue fabric for 20 minutes. So hence all the time lapses, but thank you for hanging out with me, coming along on this journey. Stay spooky and happy creepy crafting.